everyone, I found quite an interesting question in the forum about how to create a ranking table. So, for example, we have a, a collection uh, with some names and reputation points, and we would like to display them not only just sorted by reputation points, but also would like to include the rank number uh, in the uh, list itself. Uh, this is not a very trivial uh, task to perform. Uh, first, let me show you the result, how it works. So, as you can see, for example, fourth item and second item, when I increase the value, uh, and now it's 64, you see that uh, they have changed places. Uh, this list is sorted by value, and the rankings also have changed. So, this is uh, changed dynamically. Uh, here is the challenge for this task in general. The first uh, approach, uh, which is pretty logical at a glance, is to have the rank uh, field in the table. So uh, let me show you an example. So for example, we have the table of um, four entries. There we have values and we have ranking fields, and this is easily displayed in Adalo. The problem here is that, for example, if I change uh, the uh, value here, uh, to 1000, uh, this means that I not only I need to uh, update the ranking field for this person, but I also need to update the ranking fields for all other persons. And as you can imagine, uh, it's not easy to do it in Adalo itself, uh, and you may need to use some external services to do that, which is quite uh, it could be quite cumbersome. So uh, the approach could be a little bit different. So let's just think that we don't have any rank uh, rank uh, uh, fields in the collection. I will delete this totally. Uh, let's change it back like this. So let's think what is ranking in general. So uh, this one is first, second, third, and fourth. So, in fact, for example, like let's take the, this one, uh, this entry. This is uh, the third, has the third position in the ranking, which means that there are two more positions on the top uh, before this third entry. So, and similarly, if this ranking is a second position, so there will be just one position before. Uh, the this position. This sounds obvious, but when you think uh, at the beginning, it's not very trivial to do that in a Dello. So uh, let me show how I implemented this. Uh, well, first of all, this is a some items collection, and I have name, I have value. This is what's important here. I don't have ranking, as you see, so uh, don't pay attention to ID. So this is the value. Uh, uh, which I'm going to use. So here I have the list of some items which are sorted by value from high to low. So as you understand, highest will be on the top. Uh, these two buttons, they just increase and decrease value. So some item value plus one and minus one. But the thing is how ranking works. So ranking is implemented as custom formula uh, where I count all some items, so it will be from collection some items, where value is greater than the value of current some items. So, as you understand, based on this, here I count all the items, number of items, uh, where the value is greater than 50 and, well, it will be just one item and then I add one to this result. So with this, I can get the position of the current items in the list based on the value. So it's that simple though finding the solution took some time. And again, to show you how it works, rankings, let me, fourth item, 
So you see foresight and move to the top and stays there and the ranking changed to two because there is just one item uh, in the whole collection of items where the value is more than 65. I hope this was useful. Thank you.